Hello everybody and welcome to the table. Today we are taking a look at the Rough Rider Reserve. This is one of their new models and this one is called the Patriarch. So this knife right here we're going to take a closer look at. So the Rough Rider Reserve line, if you're unfamiliar, is a series of knives commissioned by Smoky Mountain Knife Works. And so they have these produced overseas by Rough Rider Knives. And so these are higher end than your run of the mill Rough Riders and the price is a bit higher as well, but the fit and finish is usually quite excellent on this series of knives. So we're gonna take a closer look at this knife. And first we'll check out the size and specs of this knife because we can take a, take a look at it in hand. It's a big knife. It's a fairly hand filling blade. So we can see the overall length right here. Let's just check that out. We can see overall length is coming in about seven and a quarter inches long. And the blade itself, all the cutting edge is right at three inches in length. And so we can also see, of course, that this model here, this has a Damascus steel blade. So we can see the etching on there and the pattern has a nail nick up at the top. So this nice sheep's foot style blade. Markings on this side, just the Rough Rider logo. And we can see on this side right here, it's actually mismarked. And they did mention this on the sale page. We can see the model name right there, um, but they did mark it as D2 steel. And this obviously is not a D2 steel, but the regular version of this knife with a satin blade is D2. So apparently the factory did goof that up. And so the, all of the knives are marked D2 as a result, but we can see this is a Damascus blade and I haven't tested it or anything, but I trust the company enough that, you know, that, that, that's honest there. Uh, what we do have though, are some nice denim micarta covers here. So all very smooth, all very flush. We have brass liners and you can see again how clean the insides of the knife are. So pretty nicely done as well. So all the pins are flush. Everything just feels very smooth in hand. And that's kind of what I've come to expect from the several Rough Rider Reserve knives that I've bought over time. And this one, again, it's called the Patriarch. So it's kind of a fitting name because it is slightly larger than a lot of slip joints that are already out there. So bigger slip joints are becoming a little more common now, but this is definitely part of that trend. We can see the back spring here. Nice and flush. Blade is open right now, and you can see how flush that is. There is a half stop as well on this knife. So we can see there is a half stop there for safety or just ease of opening. Uh, not fully flush in the half stop position. And when the knife is closed, it is flush again. So we can see the big blade profile coming out of that handle. Check out the centering there. Not really an issue on a slip joint so long as it's not rubbing. I'm happy to report there is no blade wrap, meaning the edge of the blade does not hit anywhere inside the handle when you close the knife. So your edge is going to remain nice and sharp. And right out of the box, the edge was nice and sharp, just as you see right here. So this is still, of course, the factory edge. So very nicely done there. But a nice hand filling knife right here. So very impressive with our with our nickel silver pins as well as the of course the bet the what's the word i'm looking for the shield right there and the bolsters are of course nice and polished so really well put together and so really just what i came to expect from rough rider knives so being a slip joint how is the action it is nice and snappy you can see of course that closing action right there there we go. So it is tight to close, but that's really not a bad thing. And what's really nice about it, of course, there's a nail nick, but there's so much meat here on the blade. You can just open that up. No problem with either hand. You're going to have no problem opening this knife. And that's one of the good things about this nice um, wide sheep's foot style blade there. It's really easy to open and manipulate, but that back spring still has a lot of snap to it. So yeah, still very snappy very easy to manipulate. So those are two very good positives about this model. And uh, I do want to make a few quick comparisons as well, because honestly, the number one competitor for the Rough Rider Reserve knives right now is actually coming to us from uh, Rosecraft Blades. And so these are also foreign produced slip joints, very high quality. If you told me these two knives were made in the same factory by the same workers, I would not be surprised at all because of the fit and finish on both knives is exceptional. And so this one right here is the Appalachian Jack. So we'll put them side by side. And this knife, the Appalachian Jack is also a larger slip joint. As you can tell by size, it's a little bit longer in overall length, if not quite as beefy. And of course, D2 steel blades here as well. Yep, D2. 
Again, everything fit and finish wise, identical on these knives. The smoothness, the back springs, the inside being nice and clean. Um, really, the difference, of course, is just being the models, different models of knife. But I think Rosecraft Blades has something going on here. And um, they're a company to look out for if you're a fan of traditional slip joints because Rough Rider Reserve is coming out with the same quality here. So very, very comparable. And the prices for the Rosecraft right now, they're kind of getting, they're kind of beating Rough Rider Reserve on the prices because these are coming in around $40, 50 And the uh, Rough Rider Reserves are a little bit more than that right now. So this one right here, the Damascus Blade Knife is about $10, $15 more than the D2 variant. And so for me, that was worth, you know, the little bit of extra cost just to get something different because every other Rough Rider knife I have is a D2 blade, satin finish. You know, they're all kind of cookie cutter in that way. So this was a little bit of a different purchase here. Uh, but also to compare, let me pull it out. So this right here is a recent run from Great Eastern Cutlery. Of course, US made company. Um, very hard to get your hands on these sometimes, but this is their number 47 harvester with the textured micarta scales. But just as a size comparison, you can see the handles are actually quite reminiscent of one another, both kind of that sway back design here. And of course, blade shapes are quite different, but in terms of overall length and heft, kind of similar, kind of similar. So great fit and finish on both. And I know in the traditional world, a lot of people really love Great Eastern Cutlery, number one, because they are US manufactured knives. And we don't get too many of those nowadays. So everyone loves to support uh, Great Eastern Cutlery for collection purposes and uh, support domestic manufacturing. Nothing wrong with that. That's actually a great thing. But I do admit that Rough Rider Reserve does have some great stuff going on with their line of knives. Um, they emulate everything from Great Eastern Cutlery right down to the tubes that we see here. And so when you open these up, there's the, the, the wax paper in there. There's a little cleaning cloth. So they're really trying to emulate what Great Eastern Cutlery does with their tubes here. So same, same style of thing, um, just as a quick comparison there. So really, really nicely done with the Patriarch here. If you like bigger size slip joints, this is one I think you're thoroughly going to enjoy. Um, the only complaint that I've heard about Rough Rider Reserve lines is that they do, they do tend to uh, rely heavily on micarta scales. And I love micarta, so that's not a complaint from me. Uh, but we don't see too much wood. Um, we don't see too much bone or horn or anything like that that traditional knives often have. And I'm okay with that. I, I am much more of a fan of synthetic materials um, like micarta because you can do so much with it um, color-wise and everything. But I think that's one of the complaints that I've heard from the community, at least about Rough Rider reserve knives. But what they have going on is working for them. So I hope they don't stop. So really nice knife here, bigger knife on, on, on hand. If you have any questions about this one, please do drop a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. I hope you all have a knife day, everyone, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.